so another episode on the princess you won't know but i'm taking a little break on the allegro and that's why there's not been any princess stuff for a little while but yeah back on with it today i also just want to take a moment to say thank you to everybody that commented on the last video asking for suggestions there were some really good ones and um, some really encouraging comments and it's really nice to receive that it, you know it kind of you know it, it keeps the motivation to keep cracking on with uh, what is a really rusty old car that sometimes is quite difficult to work on so today i'm going to look at doing a bit more work on the chassis rails um, in the middle of the car to try and tie the two together um, and then doing some work at the front finishing off some of the strut tower bits that we did you know a couple of months ago now and then i might try and drop the engine in again before the end of this episode so we can see exactly where we can put some more bracing in then think about cutting the floor out so yeah get cracking <laughs> So, car in the air now, and I want to try and put three braces in here. The only challenge is at the minute, without the engine in and without the prop in, I don't really, like, I don't want to end up like locking the prop shaft in because if I've got like three braces below the prop shaft, I'm not going to be able to get, like, I might not be able to like get the prop shaft in. Um, so, again, it's like these are probably not going to end up like fully welded. They're just going to be tacked in for now. Um, but I want to try and get one in right at the very back, or more or less the very back, one in just in front of the rear gearbox mount, and then one in somewhere in the middle. Um, now, these chassis legs do taper apart slightly, they're about five degrees tapered. Um, so, I've got to cut the one at the back first, get that cleaned up and tacked in cut the one that's going to go kind of at the front which is behind this um, gearbox mount and then I'll work out where in the middle I want to put the next one so yeah cut one at the back get that tacked in So we got the chassis rails welded in now, all that, those two braces for them. So that's gonna stiffen everything up. And I've just finished a couple of welds off at the front. So the chassis rails now are basically fully welded front to back with some stiffeners in them. Um, we've still got a lot of bits to add in, of course, but that's a nice little uh, tick in a checkbox. What I'm gonna do now though, is actually drop the subframe off the front and finish off a load of bits at the front. We've got some edges that need rounding off. Um, we've got a load of grinding to do, a load of bits to clean up. Uh, and I wanna kinda slap a load of primer on and think about adding some more uh, braces in on the front before we can put the subframe back on again and try the engine and think about the prop shaft. Right, so got all these ground up, a bit tedious. Slapped a load of primer on just for now, just to, um, you know, keeps it looking clean and nice. And now it's more a case of trying to get some more bracing in the engine bay. So I know that these towers are still not really like strong enough as they are just from the chassis rails, because the chassis rails are obviously flexing a little, especially when there's no subframe actually attached to them. And I know that, I'm going to need to add more bracing in here. So the plan is to get something that comes from the tower here back to this bulkhead bar that I put in, because this is pretty stiff. Again, this is all three mil wall box section. This is pretty stiff. So if I can get something to go between there and there, I imagine that will probably help stiffen it up quite a lot. But I also want to put a piece of box section in at the front of the engine bay, like just in front of where the radiator is going to sit, basically. Um, I'll probably end up having to like notch a bit out of it, but it'll also help to like be an intercooler mounting position and things like that so that'll also need to go in at the front 
Um, and then what that'll do is it'll hopefully stop the towers kind of flexing in because they're mounted on these you know kind of upturned rectangles and those rectangles are kind of flexing in with the towers so if i put another piece in between them it should hopefully stop them flexing so yeah in case of cutting a load more box section um getting more things tacked in and, and welded in So I've got those rear braces in now and I can tell already it's really stiffened it all up. So I'm gonna work on this front brace now. Again, I kind of wish I hadn't cut an angle on the front of these, like front of the chassis legs, but I didn't really know what direction I was gonna go with at the time. Uh, I didn't really know how I was gonna finish it off at the front. And I still don't really, but I can, I can make that decision later down the line. But I just need to get that brace in now, try and get it stiffened up as much as I can. Um, I'm not gonna go with 100 by 50 mil box. I'm gonna go with 50 by 50 because again, I think we'll have an intercooler and maybe an aircon condenser to fit in. So I want to try and keep it a bit lower and that should be more than enough to, to kind of stiffen it up anyway, really. So we'll get a piece of box cut. I need to get it at an angle either end. So I'll have to measure that angle, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, but yeah, get that measured up and get something cut and welded in. brace welding in on the front now and that's you know it's made a good bit of difference um, the only thing is I might have to notch it out slightly just to fit the um, air con condenser back in which isn't necessarily a problem we're gonna need an intercooler in behind there as well so that'll hopefully double up as then an intercooler mount I imagine most of the chassis rail is probably gonna have to have some notch in and some bracket mounts and things like that as we kind of progress the build. But we dropped the engine back in again because I haven't actually had the engine in this year. Um, and I needed the engine in to start thinking about where I can put um, inner wings and kind of the panel work in the engine bay. I really want to start thinking about that now. I've kind of come to the conclusion I'm gonna to have to cut out the rest of this inner wing. Kind of like we did with the back, really. We're just gonna end up with all the cosmetic panels, all the exterior panels left, and everything else is just gonna be new. But it does give us the opportunity to try and um, do it in a way that's more suitable for what we're gonna have in the engine bay, which is um, a big turbo somewhere, maybe a pair. I haven't exactly decided yet, but we're gonna be able to start thinking about those things soon. Once I get some panel work in the engine bay, we're gonna be able to start thinking about things like turbos, exhaust manifolds, and all of the cool, exciting stuff. I'm really, yeah, every time I put the engine in, I'm kind of really happy with how and where it fits. Um, it does sit really well in the car and I've even considered thinking about you know maybe trying to move it further back because it would go further back but to be honest I think the car's going to handle um, as it is I don't think I need to go too crazy but yeah that'll, that'll do us for this episode so next time I'm going to be looking at some panel work starting some panel work um, a bit more bracing and then maybe playing around with some turbo placements so yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one